What's going on YouTube? I'm back and I just wanted to give you guys just a little personal update and uh, just let you guys know what I've been thinking, what I've been doing lately, and uh, how I feel about the current state of Overwatch. As you know, I recently just made a new Smurf account and the name of this account, a lot of people probably were confused when they first saw the name, but it's actually Walshy, um, just spelt backwards. The inspiration for the name came from one of my inspirations when I was a young kid. Um, the Halo Pro named Walshy um, was one of my biggest role models when I was young and trying to be really good at Halo and whatnot and playing a shit ton of Halo when I was young. So that's where the name came from, just in case any of you were wondering. Now, I actually got placed in this match on this account, and I ended up getting placed at, um... Actually, I'll let you guys wait until the end so you can find out, and it'll be a surprise. I made a prediction on what I was going to get placed, and I was actually correct. It was a little higher than I actually wanted because... Um, as you know, I'm using this account to practice many, many different heroes. Um, the only heroes I won't be using on this account is uh, Soldier, McCree, um, Tracer, Zarya, and Anna. I won't be playing any of those heroes in this account because I'm using this account to only play off-meta heroes and heroes that I'm not really that good with yet. I want to try and get um, top 500 in this game um, without using Soldier, Tracer, um, Zarya, Anna. Um, if I can do that, I think that that will demonstrate that I truly am a great player and it's just kind of a, a personal challenge of mine that I want to do because I think a lot of high level players um, always look at another player's hero pool and judge them off of it. And I don't want to be known as like a meta whore. Um, there's nothing wrong with being a meta whore by the way, but I just don't want to be known as that. Um, so I'm just playing heroes that I'm not very good with like um, Roadhog, Genji, you know I'm decent with them but I won't be playing them a ton. Mainly I'm going to be playing like Reinhardt, um, Winston. Uh, Zenyatta, D.Va, um, Farah, I'll probably even play some Mercy in there. Um, the sole purpose of this account is for me to improve and for me to make content for you guys playing random heroes like Sombra right here. Um, so I won't be using this account to, uh, to boost anyone or to play with any viewers um, unless maybe there's a special occasion. I'm not totally going to close off that option, but I wouldn't count on it. And as some of you may know, I have been playing off stream lately. And the reason I was playing off stream is because I just felt like I was getting a little bit burnt out off streaming. I know that a lot of you might think that it's just streaming, right? Like, how could it be exhausting or taxing? But, uh, you know, trying to play it like a really high level, like 4.5k, um, play DPS, carry, look good for my stream, and win the game all at the same time while enter entertaining people's and replying to people's comments in my chat... It's very, very taxing, to be honest with you. I, I don't know if any of you guys have actually streamed before, but if you have, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, so I, I do enjoy the game a little bit more um, on certain days when I just play off stream because it's just me and the game, and I just get to have fun just playing the game and just focusing on the game itself. And I do play much better when, when I'm off stream. Um, so most of the time when I'm streaming in the future now, you're probably going to see me playing on this account. I always try, if you guys know me, I'm super hyper competitive, so I always try. If you guys see me playing on this account, you know I'm giving it 110% like always. But uh, I will be streaming less on my main accounts. Um, you know, there's no guarantees, but I'm just anticipating that's what's going to happen now that I am playing offline or off stream a little bit more often now. And uh, I have enjoyed it quite a bit, and I think that it's enabling me to get better content for my YouTube channel because, like I said... I do play way better off stream. In fact, my last two uploads on YouTube, one against Seagull and then uh, one where I get 73% kill participation, both of those were actually done off stream because like I said, I play better off stream. So when I do stream now, you're gonna see me playing on this account mainly. So with that being said, I just wanna talk about Overwatch right now. Um, I'm improving a lot with Roadhog. I'm really getting the hang of him, although I still need a little bit to work. I'm struggling dealing with Farah and Tracer as Roadhog at the moment. Um, I'm pretty streaky with Roadhog at the moment as well, but uh, I'm trying to develop my consistency. Um, I have realized since making this account that Sombra is actually low-key kind of viable. Um, it's crazy, I know, because it's Sombra, but uh, you know, she's actually pretty useful if you can use her correctly and uh, be really aggressive. I think that the meta right now in Overwatch is absolutely perfect. I think that every hero is so viable. Uh, I mean, Soldier's in a great spot, uh, Genji's in a great spot, Tracer, McCree, like they're all viable and they're all really good. I, I, I think that Overwatch right now is perfect. I think that the game meta right now and the balance of all the heroes 
I don't think Overwatch has ever been better than this. Um, I really hope that they don't do anything to break the game, but it is Blizzard, so you know we don't know what to expect. But uh, I, I really like this meta right now, and I'm enjoying Overwatch uh, more than I ever have because of um, not only the viability of all my favorite heroes, but just the the unviability of the really cancer heroes. Like you know, when something gets over buffed and broken, you just see it in every single game, like how you used to see May in every single game, and it just kind of took the fun out of the game. Now you see a lot more heroes in the game, so um, it's raising the level of play because more people are able to play their main heroes, which raises um, the, the skill cap and just the pace of play because everyone's on their mains. So I, I love where Overwatch is right now, and I hope that nothing changes, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys this little personal update just to let you know that I'm going to be doing more commentaries, and uh, if you guys have any gameplays that you want me to review for my new coaching series, leave it down below in the comments and I'll have a look at it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.